Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I told you guys that I was gonna do the install of the Sumo Performance, but I never got a chance to do it. So I already did my muffler and resonant delete. So that's why, that's why the video came up first before this one. But I know you guys have been waiting for it, and so have I. So here you go guys, the Sumo Performance. Let's get to the unboxing. Alright guys, there it is. It's beautiful, guys. I know y'all love unboxing, so do I. So here it is. This is so beautiful. And this is the side mirrors for Sumo Performance. They also label right and left side. And these do fit the OEM. So this is the OEM ones. Get a better look. These are the OEM ones, and these are the Sumo Performer ones. So they should fit, and it's also blue tinted, and it's much wider than the OEM ones. So I'm kind of excited for these, because I'm tired of driving at night, and those bright light be shining at you, and yeah. So these will help me a lot. And I don't have my boy Usain here today, so it's just going to be me solo doing this install. Um, and it's freaking cold out, guys. I'm not gonna lie. The outside feels like 28 degrees. And it's getting cold out and it's gonna snow in the next few weeks here. So it's gonna suck real bad. I'm not gonna get to drive my baby anymore. So yeah. But if, if it gets kinda a little like dull looking here, it's because of my lighting. I need new lights here, so. So bear with me, guys. But let me show you guys what you guys need for this install. So all I got here is a flathead. As you can tell, it's pretty beat up because we've been using it a lot. And microfiber towel. All right, guys. So all you have to do is move this all the way back there. And don't worry, guys. All that clicking sound, you will not destroy anything. So you don't have to worry about it. And all you got to use is a microfiber towel, this flathead. Just wrap it around like this, and then just go in. There you go. Clip it out like that. Actually, guys, I'm gonna need another hand because if I pry this out, it's gonna fall out. So, be right back. <laughs> Alright guys, I got my cameraman, so I need a second hand, so I'm going to pass it to my younger brother. Here, take good care of my camera. Alright, anyways, since I got my second hand helper, I already got it almost like popped out already. Oh! There we go. Oh. That's wired, bro. Whoa! Guys. <sighs> I forgot that I have heated mirrors and then I got the wrong ones. <laughs> oh. But I don't really need these two, these wires here. I mean, this one, it has a place for it. These two right here. Would have failed. But anyways, I'm not even gonna run it during the winter, so I don't really need it or care for it, so. Oh well. I'm, I'm gonna work with what I have. So I'm just gonna take these two out and replace it with that one. So if you guys have a 2020 that has a mirror defroster, Make sure you go to Sumo Performance and click on the one that says defrost. All right, cause uh, you don't you don't want to make the mistake that I did. But who cares? I'm not really worried about it. So I'm just gonna unplug these and now transfer it over there. So see you guys in a bit. Yo, 
you want to make sure that these are like the right ones and they're facing the right way because you want this piece right here to transfer over here there should be some clips one two three four five six clips seven eight clips I mean and then, it's very important not to break it if it breaks that's the end of the war for you sorry Alright guys, so I finally did it. Now this part, just gotta go over here. Just remember to peel out this brown part. You don't need that. So this is the, like, pretty much like 3M. All you gotta do is just place it over here. And it's just snap it into place. Alright guys, so I finally finished it. All you gotta do is just clip it on and everything clips back on. And then I'm gonna hide this back here. So later on in the future, if I decided to change it to the defrosting one, I can just change it real quick. Make sure these two prongs right here lines up with these holes. And then the center one should always fit in there. Then you gotta put a little pressure on there. Ta-da! Easy! Now these are much wider than the original ones. So, here's the original ones. As you can tell, it's much wider. I don't know if you can really tell, but Maybe you can, but these are definitely wider though. You can actually really tell these in, uh, in person. Yeah. Look at it. Do you think it's much wider? Yeah. So if my little brother says it's, wider. it's a little bit wider than the original ones, then it's, it's wider. All right, on to the next one. This one's pretty easy. Um, you can do it by yourself or maybe have a hand to help out, you know, I don't know. But I'm gonna do the other side. So, I'll show you guys when it's all done.
right, guys. Now I'm finished. Finally. Yeah, I've been waiting for this install for the longest time ever. Um, but anyways, it looks really good. I don't really mind about, you know, the heated uh, mirror. So I don't really care. Uh, but it looks really good on both sides. This side was way quicker. About like 30 seconds doing it. Not even gonna lie, it was like pretty fast. And if you guys are curious of why I went with Sumo Performance, it's because these aren't like uh, the spoon version. The spoon version is just 3M back side of it. So all you do is just stick it back onto the mirrors. And those I did not really like. So what if like, you know, it's raining, I'm driving and it just falls off, you know, that's a waste of like a hundred something bucks, right? And the, the Mugen ones, the ones with the turn signals, um, yeah, I don't want to deal with any more wiring and it's hella expensive. I don't really need to go all out. So I just, that's why I went to Sumo Performance, but I am pretty sad that I did not get the heated mirrors. So that's a downfall for me. But for you guys, this is a video for you guys to, you know, know that don't make the mistake that I did because I was pretty upset, but it's okay because Either way, I'm just gonna drive it when it's sunny out or like just on a nice days. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like it though. Cause I do, and it's much wider too. So I can see my blind spot. I don't have to crash or anything. Cause um, every time I look to my right side, I see this blocking my view. But I think that's just me cause I'm much shorter. But hey guys, let me know what do you guys think. Comment down below. So yes, all the little details matters. But I'm gonna end it here today. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Peace out guys.